Right. We're bloody recording. We're bloody recording. So, our guest is Tommy C. Hopefully you know who Tommy C is. If you don't, he's got a YouTube channel and he's a bit like what we do, but a lot faster. <laughs> Can we say that? Um, <clears throat> I'd say that's a... Yeah, it's a good... It's a, it's a good... A, uh, an, is it analogy? Yeah. Yeah. Would you say like, analogy? Well, you just say mm. a description. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good description of it. Yeah, it is. So, we'll, of, we'll set the scene... You come here this morning to Shrewsbury and we've been on a mint ride round Stratton, haven't we? We have indeed. Had some fun. Jibbing. We have indeed. Jibby Jim. Um, as I now know him. Yeah. <laughs> and we've known each other probably four years? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, yeah. And the first vid we did together was Duffy Bike Park. Duffy Bike Park. And that was when... And we got the first weekend ride there as well. Yes. And both our videos blew up from that really, did. didn't they? That was what my second biggest video was how is hard it? is Atherton's bike, Dubby Bike Park. Yeah, and you've had a few yeah. from there. You did it on the Hardtail, didn't you, Mad Bastard? Yeah. When did I do that? I did that. That was about, <clears> was about that was a, probably year a year ago. That was probably a year ago, yeah. Mm. Yeah, on the Hardtail, the Hardtail gets around. Just to say, doing. Cassie's here. Wifey, say hello. Hi. When you did that last one, you were like, uh, you sounded like really downtrodden, so I want. I a, am. I want a strong <laughs> female hello. <laughs> Go on, then. A strong female hello. Yes. Hello. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so right, uh, as you can see, I've got a as you can see. piece of paper here, Tommy. With uh, literally, they can't see. <laughs> literally nothing written on it. I've got no questions, so we are blagging this. We are. Um, Best way to be, mate. Let's take <clears throat> it right back. You're from, is it Stockport? No, so originally from, well, I was born in a place called Oldham. Yeah. Which. It's near Manchester, isn't it? Yeah, it's like North Manchester. Anyone that knows yeah. Oldham knows it's a little bit ropey. Yeah. It's all right, though. If you're from Oldham, I don't mean any offense. So well. when was that? How old? You're 28, aren't you? Yeah, so that was 94, that. Yeah. So obviously a while ago for all these kids now born in the uh, 20th century, yeah, the yeah, millenn millennials, yeah. it seems a long time ago. So, yeah, I was like the back end of, well, no, midway through the 90s. So, obviously, I missed out on all the Hacienda stuff, which I kind of wished I didn't. Yeah. We, we, we're we kind of the generation that wished we were, you know, yeah. like a bit older I'm, in that I'm, generation. I'm not happy that I'm old, but I'm glad I went through all that. Yeah. I did Hacienda quite a lot, boardwalk. Yeah. Um, went out in... Hacienda is actually an apartment block now. Is it? Yeah, yeah, they've turned it into like apartments. What was it called? Was it FAC something? Was it FAC oh, I something? I can't remember. We walked past it. We were in Manchester the other uh, month and looking at it and it was like, bloody hell. Yeah. All the memories that are in that, like, you know. You can imagine that, the people who bought those apartments <clears throat> are probably people oh. who've partied in oh, there. Yeah, they're 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 can you imagine? Are, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, nostalgic. Cool, like, yeah. God, when we come out of there, I'd... I still think back to how the fuck did I get home? <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people think mates that driving who certainly shouldn't have been. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you grew up. You grew up around there then, Oldham. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Oldham, Manchester. What did your folks do? Uh, so my dad. My dad's a spark. Yeah. Before he was a spark, my dad was actually um, uh, a navy diver. Was he? So yeah, he used to dive in the navy. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then he got a job. I think he was in the Navy for, I want to say, how old was he? So he joined when he was 16, like the minimum age you could join. And I think he left, he probably did six years or something, and left and did stuff in the Middle East. Yeah. Um, and my mum's always been like a team manager of some sort. So, yeah, I got quite a grounded... Uh, are they still together? Yeah, they're still together. See, yeah. that's quite rare now. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. It is yeah. very rare, yeah. You don't I'm just going to say cheers before we carry yeah, on. Yeah, cheers. Because, and tell you what we're all drinking. I'm, che I'm cheersing a can here. Cassie's <laughs> on the red wine. You're on, what's that, Moretti? Be Moretti, the best. And I am on gin and juice, my new found flavour of drink, which is gin and orange <laughs> juice. So I'm like... Uh, Todd just exactly. said some uh, naughty in background there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Probably work out what he said. So I'm like Snoop Dogg tonight, aren't it? <laughs> and we've had a we've had a couple, haven't we, already? Yeah, and we've had it? yeah, we had uh what did we have in the pub? We had two <coughs> pretty strong beers, didn't we? Yeah. So going back, uh when did you get in when did you get like a sniff of bikes? 
So my first bike was a bike from Halfords, as it probably was many people. It was an absolute shit piece. It was How old? awful. It's probably t- How old was I? Probably ten. But it was just one of them. I just used to rag it on the bridle paths. Think I was doing downhill. Yeah. When yeah. I wasn't, I was just yeah. like ragging it in my trackies. And I suppose that's the first taste. But then actually mountain bike, and I didn't pick up a mountain bike till I was seventeen. Yeah. On the backside of kind of trying to find something to get me in the place where I wanted to be. I needed yeah. to find a release. So before that happened at seventeen, when you were dicking about. On shitty bikes. Mm. Were you a good kid? Were you a troublesome kid? Troublesome kid. Yeah. Big time. I think most people that are into this kind of thing have always they needed a most release. Most of them, yeah. It's a, mm. it's a release for most people. Mm. And it's, so, yeah, I had a tough time through school just because I didn't want to be there. Yeah. Hated every Same single here. minute of it. Mm. Absolutely. I was just resented being in school. Yeah. Some people love it. Made a lot. Well, to be fair, I say I made a lot of friends. I've probably only got. There's only one friend I've kept from school, um, and he's a cracking lad, mm. and we just grew up pretty much grew up together. I thought you were going to say he's a crackhead. <laughs> he's a crackhead, no, he's <laughs> definitely not a crackhead. He's a cracking lad. Um, but yeah, I just hated school. Absolutely yeah, hated I it. I hated school. I Took me down a dark path. Yeah. For well, it happens to a lot of people, don't it? Yeah, yeah. All the experimenting as children. Yeah. Yeah, I did all that. Uh, I mean. Obviously, because we're a different era. Yeah, it is, isn't it? my experimenting, <clears throat> let's just say that, was like in the early 90s. Yeah. Um, and I suppose it's a similar sort of time, was it? I oh, know, yours, no, you were born to 94. Yeah, we were like, you know? well, it was like millennial, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. after 2000s. But like you say, I think I left school 2000. I say I left school, didn't go to bloody school. Mm. But we were supposed to leave school 2000. Did you skive a lot, like me? Oh, back fence every time. Yeah, I was a big skive. I was a shit. Yeah. I was a shit. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't because I was just trying to be shit. I hated it. Didn't want to be there. Mm. I couldn't wait to leave school. I was mm. so buzzing when I left. That's it. I think a lot of people are like that. And what did you do when you left, work wise and all that? Uh, well, so going back, obviously, um, met Kate in school. Um, oh, so it's like childhood sweetheart. Oh yeah, I met her when I was fourteen. Yeah, wow. still got her now. Yeah. And um, so she's the same age as you? Exactly the same Look, age as me. I'm a little nippers. bit older. Two nippers. So yeah. we had our first when we were, I was 17. She was 16, so we were young. Um, oh, wow. George, yeah. Um, cracking lad. He's just getting into his bikes now, which I'm buzzing about. Yeah. Um, and we've recently had Soph. She's two. So And yeah, we've just been through life together, so it's mega. And um, yeah, she's just... Mint lets mm. me do what I want. She know she knows biking's my thing, so it's kind of she knows it's the place I need my time to go and do. Yeah. And I know for a lot of people it just looks like I'm going out having a blast of a time, but it's, it's a release. It's your um, it's your, for me anyway. I see biking as like my therapy. Yeah, hundred percent. If I it, like when I'm injured, if I can't ride for a bit, I, I get so I get naggy, don't I? Oh my god, he's like the worst person in the world to live with if he can't ride his bike. Yeah, that's like it. absolutely, like just terrible. It's to like live my with. drug of choice. Yeah, I feel that exactly. And I'm it, addicted isn't it? to yeah, it. Yeah, And if I'm can't have my fix, I get fucking naggy. agitated. Yeah, like a smackhead without his bag. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? It's yeah, that. totally. Yeah, yeah. It is. It's because you can't. There's no way to replace that, is there? Really. No. But I suppose it's like a lot of sports. If you're into snowboarding, skateboarding, whatever. That's for, for for a lot of people, and I know mountain bikers, a lot of people, it's getting out in the outdoors and yeah. having times with your mates. It's not better, is there? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, I know it's amazing having a family and stuff, but for men, doing yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, definitely, yeah. You just can't settle, though, can you? Like, if no. you're in the house for a day, like, you, str- you struggle even just over Christmas, don't you? And oh, it's like the know. one year, yeah, yeah. Christmas Day, because we celebrate our Christmas Day on Christmas Eve, have the big yeah. meal and all that kind of stuff on Christmas Eve. Christmas Day, Jim was sat down, and he was like, I'm fucking bored now. <laughs> and he was like, out mowing the lawn on Christmas Day morning. <laughs> yeah. And the neighbour, no. like, the neighbor, like, popped his head over the fence and was like, Jim, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's like Christmas fucking day. Get off the lawn mower. Yeah, <laughs> like, just get yeah. back in the house. Yeah, and he was like, be done in a minute. Yeah. Do, you have, do you have Christmas... Dinner on Christmas Day then? Or do you no, we have like the, like the leftovers on do Christmas you? Day. Yeah. yeah. 
There and seems to be a lot of people that do that. What What's the reason behind that? Just family tradition? Well, it was like... No, when it wasn't with my family. No. When the kids were little, because I'd be like rushing around on Christmas Day and like trying to prep stuff and get yeah. shit cooked and stuff. And they were trying to play with their toys. And I'd just be like, all right, okay, just move it out of the way. Like get And it was like I wasn't really appreciating what they were doing. Yeah, yeah. And it was sort of like... Um, I didn't want to cook for everyone on a day when I could be like enjoying the kids and their toys and stuff like that. Yeah, and, I get that. You know, so I just so if that, I do it the night before, it's all out the way. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's had a laugh. You go into Christmas feeling full and happy and what have you, and then the, you get up the next day and watch the kids open the presents, and it's just that's how it's been for yeah, years now, hasn't it? So, going back to when you were a troublesome kid, yes. What was Probably one of the worst things you've done. Can you, worst you can things. name or mention? Can you oh, think of it now? Um, pff, worst things I've done. I think I've done a lot of bad things. I say a lot of bad things. It's not bad in the scheme of I've ever hurt anyone. I never hurt. You, well, you yeah. know me. I'm. I'm a. Yeah, I'd never go out my way to hurt anyone. Uh, worst things. I wouldn't say I've done anything particularly bad. It's just mischievous, stupid yeah, shit yeah. that kids do. Mm. I'd say there's nothing I can really point my finger on. Obviously, getting my girlfriend pregnant at 16 wasn't the best <laughs> yeah. best thing at the time. Yeah, it's amazing yeah. now, but that, for me, was like... God, I mean, you can't that think of anything quite worse difficult at 16, for the parent, can you? Yeah, that age, oh, I mean, it, was, it was... Kate won't mind me saying, it was awful. Because it takes all your... Like, um, As a 16-year-old, yeah, it? you're gone. Like, yeah, you're suddenly a lot of 16-year-olds are, 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 are just fuck off, will not they? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because... Unless you've got a support network behind you, which luckily we had, because her mum and dad are sound and my mum and dad are sound, you've got to have that to be able to support yeah, it, because if you don't, yeah. you, you, you're fucking screwed. Yeah. You've got to rely on having your own money and your own... Uh, who has that at 16? Mm. No one does. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say that was the biggest biggest thing at the time, but that quickly, I mean, obviously we are where we are now, so it's not really... It's, if anything, it's grounded me more now. Mm, I appreciate yeah. stuff more now, because obviously I've got my own family to look after. So what, uh, so it's like, <clears throat> fast forward to you being 17, you yes. bought a, a proper bike. Yeah, so I bought, um, so I'm going to hopefully try and get Steve um, to listen to this podcast. So Steve owns a bike shop up near us called Bikeanics. Yeah. And um, he owned um, a shop in a place called Upper Mill previously where he sold bikes and blah, blah, blah. But he owns a workshop now. And I bought a bike off Gumtree, and it was a Yeti ASX. If yeah. you ever, if you ever yeah. remember, like an old, it's like a free riding bike. It had old boxer triple crowns on, like two thousand and threes. It was a piece of shit. It was awful. And uh, I took it up to his shop, and um, I was like, a, "Was it like that turquoise and no? It was like it was color. no. It was it was like um. I don't know if the guy had sprayed it, but it was black. Oh really? With like some funny decals mm. on. But I took it up to him, and I said, "Can you do a service on this?" And he was like. What is it? It was just like a, a mashup. It had twenty four inch wheels. Yeah. And he was like, "Why have you why, why have you bought this? It's like a dirt jump bike slash downhill bike slash." It had like a ten speed uh, drivetrain on it. He was like, "Why have you bought this?" I was like, "Well, I wanted to get into mountain biking," so um, took it up to his shop and he basically just laughed me out of the shop. He didn't. He obviously yeah. sorted my bike out, but he was like, "What is this?" Um, so that was my first bike, and then it kind of just unfolded from there I started going doing like bits and bats and um and because it had triple crowns i felt like i needed a proper downhill bike and then i went and bought a saracen and it just all kind of so when was that like 2008 that will like. have been no it will have been later than that so it will have been because i played golf for a bit when i was younger did you yeah i got to okay, uh, I, I, I was playing off six were you yeah i got down to That's six pretty angry, yeah, yeah yeah i was I was going for scratch and then um, I hated the way golf clubs work because it's dead gentleman like and I had yeah. long hair. And yeah, used to tell yeah. Me to and take you have my, to wear all that stupid All the stupid clobber. Yeah. But they used to tell me to take my hat off. So I had a hat on like now, but when I was teeing off, they used to tell me to take my hat off so my hair would be obviously all over my eyes and my, my dad would just say, let him keep his hat on. And they're like, no, no, he can't What's keep the, his hat on. What is the fucking point? It's that? mad, isn't it? I hate those stupid And it put me like off. That. It yeah. put me off. I mean... Thankfully it did because I probably wouldn't be doing mountain biking now. But yeah, um, it put me off playing golf. I quit the club and I was just like, 
fuck that. Yeah. Don't you know they I mean? all wear like caps? Yeah, so the older guys do, yeah, and yeah. a lot of the pros now they'll all wear caps. That's why they've all got funny shaped heads because they wear caps so much. <laughs> but yeah, it was such a fucked up environment as a yeah, while well, twelve at the time. It was it was but that was actually yeah, so that was way before. That was I was sort of going from high school to sorry, primary school to high school and that's when I picked up golf, so I was quite mm. young. Um, it was amazing, loved it, but full of arseholes. Yeah. So clicky. Um, where did, what was the question before you were saying? Um, so, yeah, it was like getting on to sort of more mountain bikey stuff. Oh, yeah, so obviously I got that bike and then I bought a Saracen. And there's a run near us called uh, Alfin. Mm. Uh, and it's basically a, it's not really a footpath. I don't know what it is. It's like a, you know, like an access route. Yeah. And all the local fast boys um, used to put time on Strava down and I clocked onto it and Steve said, do you want to go up there and see what you can do? And every every chance I got, I'd be up there pushing my downhill bike up. Bearing in mind, it takes half an hour to push up to yeah. the top. I'd push up, hammer runs, um, and it was like a little local competition we had going on. I got to second place on the leaderboard behind one of the pros that lives near Does us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I had that for years. Who was that? Uh, that was Jack. The- that oh, was Jack, Jack Reddy. Reddy. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, Jack. Reddy, yeah. Jack had the KOM for years, and um, and I was just trying to just trying my best to get it. You know, yeah. it's like if I beat him, oh, I must. Everyone will be like, whoa! But it's not like that, is it? You know, yeah, no yeah. one really gives a shit about Strava times. It's yeah. just a it's a personal mental game, uh, and yeah, it just spiraled from there. Really, just, and you started racing. Yeah, started racing, did all the races. Did you uh, get any support from the beginning or? Nothing really. The only person I really tagged on with is Jack and he gave us a bit of support with what he called kit and stuff like that. But it's hard as you're up coming through racing mm. unless everyone that knows all, that knows does racing. It costs you an absolute yeah, fortune, it's expensive, doesn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. It's so expensive. That's probably So when would that be? What year would you have started racing? So what are we now? 22. So that will have been... Uh, probably 15, 16, 17. Mm. They were probably the years that I was racing. Didn't do it 18. Did one race 19, and then obviously we've had all the... So you weren't doing any enduro stuff? That no, was didn't, no, didn't. Yeah, yeah, that was just yeah. downhill, uh, nationals, you know, all the English ones, mm. a few Scottish ones, did a few SDAs. Now, how did um, you get on once you sort of found... I was all right, right like, because I was, like, fairly keen. I was all right. I was always, like, when I first started, like, Mid pack towards the front. What was that in seniors? I actually, yeah, seniors. But I started yeah. racing at Farmer John's. Yeah, yeah. That's the first place I raced, and I got a real feel for it. And I'd probably come at, at Farmer John's. You only get fifty people racing. I'd probably top ten. Yeah. Most of the races, and then they started improving the results, and then as everyone starts getting a bit faster, you, you drop out of it, and then. I'd say towards the back end of 17, I really found like, you know, my stride with it all, bit, mm. bit of man strength, bit older. Um, and yeah, and obviously I don't race anymore. And you, did you, you went up, you, you went up into, is it experts? I went league? up to experts, yeah, I went up yeah. to experts for a year. <clears throat> or was it two years? No, it was a year. Did a few races, like decent results. Like I think it was, I think my best result in expert was like a top 10, but there was quite a big, at that, at that specific race there was quite a few riders there was about 30 riders so yeah. for expert it was pretty good um, expert's a tough category it is very tough mm. because it's all the boys knocking on the door of the elites yeah so what what do you get is it the top two or three that move up something like that the top three like that, I think yeah um, but yeah I just lost lost the love for, for the racing it's too yeah. it's too clicky for me yeah it's a all funny that, thing the do you know what I mean world, isn't it it's um I think it's all that, groups it of riders, so isn't it? so different when I did it. When I did downhill in was like from 97 to 2002. And it was just a fucking dick about. Yeah, I mean, yeah. people were fast, but not like now. Now, what is mad now, like you've been riding today with the likes of Leo, oh, it's so and Todd and that. He is so much faster than an elite would have been like fifth, when I was young yeah, it's mad, doing it. it. You know, the juniors... And the youth are not. Do you think that's because of the progression in the sport? Though? I think it's that, and I think it's also because it's been about for so long. Mm. So these kids have been riding from like six, seven years old, and they're fearless. And jumps wasn't about when I was young, and now they start off on jumps, and 
move towards all yeah, the other so they've stuff. got no yeah, fear yeah, in yeah. the air and they see all this shit on social media gnarly as fuck and they're like right I'm going to do that yeah yeah um, I think there's a lot of pressure from social yeah. media isn't there yeah definitely so you, you decided to sack the racing off pack what the year racing was that? in that was probably well it was like 18 yeah and then obviously 19 started all the videos did you, was there a reason you started the videos? Did someone suggest it or were you like... Um, Honestly, right, this is God's honest do. truth. This is God's honest truth. And the boys, well, I say the boys, the lads who obviously are on the, the original, I don't even know what you call it, the original hype crew. Mm, <laughs> Sounds yeah. awful saying that. Um, I just started it because I was like, some of the stuff we're doing is so sick. Yeah. And like, yeah, you might put a clip on Instagram, but... Why, why should we not just like document it yeah and yeah. I was like I was just like I'll just take a video out and just film a load of carnage and it was always like just go out we'll session a bit of track like we've been doing today yeah, with these yeah. boys so what these boys are doing now that's how kind of we started doing it we were a bit older obviously but so obviously now every fucking elite man and his dog's a vlogger even though they used to slag well, them off well yeah exactly but when you started doing it, who would you have looked up to and thought, oh, that's a good idea? Were you following any nah, vloggers then? That's what I mean. It just purely started. YouTube, it's, it's weird with YouTube. Like, um, I don't know how you explain it. Yeah, I just started as like a bit of a hobby. Yeah. But then you realise the potential in YouTube and you're like, can help people actually enjoy yeah, watching this yeah. stuff. And then you, you recognise other people like yourselves, which I did, and I was like, doing the same thing it's cool do you know because I mean? we're, we're almost a bit like rarities now because like we were chatting about earlier, yeah we said earlier didn't we most the well top youtubers and ones with a lot more subscribers than us are like the pros now. yeah yeah They've all all the all the main channels on youtube are but if you look back like before covid uh, yeah 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 they were all like slagging off the the vloggers oh vlog this vlog that dickheads you know yeah. and it's like hang on a minute you're all doing it now i think they've got a lot of it's, it's i think it's difficult in it because the professional guys there's a lot of pressure on them they're getting paid contracting yeah. money and especially with covid it's like how can you actually promote us without yeah racing? i think a lot of them were told to do it yeah, and now that they've realised, the same as ones, like realising the potential. In it, yeah, like, yeah. Fucking hell, it's more yeah, than just the for sponsors, who, isn't it? You know, the money that if they're getting good views and they're getting good numbers, Which a lot of the them money are. they will be getting off get off um, Google. Yeah, yeah. I bet they were like, fucking, hell, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I was just yeah, doing yeah. it to please my sponsors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm getting however much a month. You know, I bet some of them are pulling a grand a month off just oh, off easy. Google. Well, you're Matt Jones as a world. Oh, he'd be pulling, pulling thousands. But he's been, he's been blogging for a while. Yeah, he? Matt. Matt's like one of the ones that kind of, I think he started it kind of, um, I want to say a similar time to me. Maybe, I don't know. Because I know he started with, he kind of hooked up with Harry Mayne a few times. Yeah. Because I was quite into the YouTube. Like, do you know Harry Mayne? I speak to Harry on Instagram. I've got yeah. Harry on Instagram, yeah. Why don't we do a vlog with him? It'd be cool, wouldn't it? I'd love to. But I think Harry, because Harry was massive into his BMX, mm. and I think, I don't know, I don't really know Harry, so it's hard for me to say, but personally, I think all the pressure and stuff behind BMX is so high. Yeah. Because you've got to be yeah. pulling crazy tricks out of yeah, the bag, haven't you? So to be filming well. that every week, I can't even imagine what they're feeling. Like that, um, if you, did you see that clip from Kieran Davis, the Red Bull athlete? Oh. No. Have you seen that, Todd? Yeah. He, he pulled the world's first triple flare. Have you not oh, seen the video? Oh, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I saw it all over Instagram. But, it? like, if you watch the video series behind it, he'd been doing that for... He'd started trying to work, like, hit that trick to wood last year, and he pulled the plug on it because he was crashing his brains out, and he was just like, I'm going to have to come back to mm. it. Come back to it this year, and he pulled the world's first. And it's fucking insane. Like, you see how hench the guy is, but the amount he's having to, like, twist yeah, his body. Yeah, yeah. But then the way it's just, like... I think for the pros, especially at that level, it's a complete different ball game, especially when they've got massive sponsors. I think the pressure's so high. It's mad, isn't it, when you look at stuff like that and, like, the Red Bull, um, the the one over in Ohio, whatever it's called... Um, Hardline. Hard, no, Hardline. Rampage. That's, Rampage. Oh, Rampage. Rampage yeah. and Hardline. Where, where is it that? Is it, is it is it's Utah? Utah, oh, it's Utah yeah, yeah, sorry. Utah. And um, it's just, I look at that and I think, 
How can it advance anymore? It's yeah. so fucking gnarly. Well, it used to be, uh, Rampage used to be who can get down the hill. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And now it's like, like who can triple like, backflip uh, over this? Glenn O'Brien from Northern Ireland, I remember he's one of the first Brits to do it. It's mental, isn't it? But do you I'll, think though, like the pressure that sponsors put on the bikers to do the to do all that kind of crazy shit takes the fun out of what you're doing? Yeah, hundred percent. Because well, for me it would. Because how can like putting all your effort into pulling one trick off just to please someone? Yeah. It sort of ruins the passion think, for yeah, it. I think it? for some, I think for some of them, it's more than it's more than that. Especially with that triple flare, he, he'd invested himself into that. He probably wouldn't give a shit if the sponsors were happy or not. He wanted to do that for himself. But I think in certain circumstances, there's definitely pressure on the top guys. To yeah. Do. And these people who are putting the money in, Red Bull, Monster, etc. I think they've got quite a responsibility 100%. with pushing that stuff. Yeah. You know, you look at G. You know, if he hadn't have passed out, it could have killed him. What he oh, that crash that was yeah. horrendous. That crash, wasn't it? Yeah, I, yeah. I haven't. I've not witnessed st- something before and been I could, like, you know, wincing. What? Yeah, and like, you see, you oh, see, you know, the Red Bull athletes. Obviously, they get all the private health off Red Bull if they have an uh, injury. Yeah. And, and people will be like, "Oh, that's good of them." You think? Well, no, it's not good Putting of them. Their lives on the line. You should do that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, You're yeah. making them do all this yeah, mad yeah. shit. And, you know, if you compare, obviously they're doing all right out of it, but then if you compare their money to, like, a premiership footballer, it's pittance. Yeah, Absolute it's a joke, pittance, really, isn't it? Yeah. And ultimately, it's your body that's fucked when you're an old person. Yeah, yeah it's so true. It's not, like, it's not yeah, red no, ball. I always, yeah, exactly. not red ball, I always think, what are these boys going to do? I know a lot of them, like, have avenues to go down, but... What do what do the bulk of them do when they've got to retire yeah. and like the knees mm. are fucked, the hips are yeah. fucked? Yeah, I always think that because they've, like you say, they've invested so much time into doing that. You've got to be, you actually you've got to be switched on and quite smart, and yeah. If you look at like Steve Pete, he's definitely oh no, he knows what he's doing. Of course he does. He's not daft. He's a big name as well, isn't he? Yeah, do you know what I mean. Yeah, and he's promoting obviously. All got his own brands stuff. out there. Yeah, yeah, fair play to him. But then you. I don't know. You look at some of them; they must be like, "What?" Yeah, am I some of do? the guys out the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they're still like the private. <coughs> well, they call them like the privateers now, don't they? Because yeah. they're not really privateers. Some of the guys mm. that are knocking on the door of the top six, you've got to be like best in the world, mm-hmm. aren't you? So, going back to riding. Yeah. And uh, say you're out riding the trails. Let's get let's get to the nitty gritty. What what are some of the things that will annoy you if you're out riding people things happening anything to do with bikes in what like in what context okay well i'll give you i'll give you an example for instance if i'm riding somewhere i know obviously you won't probably don't ride trail center but if Mm. i'm riding somewhere where there's a lot of people and you get a lot of e-bikers and you get the e-bikers who aren't originally mountain bikers and they'll come like past you with no manners and like barge that fucking boils my does it yeah you know when people go, I just like manners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get you like that kind, kind of, of thing. shifting you out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and just anything like that. Or um, I was saying last night on the live show, people will uh, turn up and they got literally no tools and nothing with them, and yeah. they're like, "Oh, you or at least, yeah, 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 yeah." It yeah. does. Do you know the honestly the biggest thing for me is litter. Yeah, yeah. Like massive. Mm. I get fucked off with litter, especially yeah. from, and I know. And I know uh, probably sounds like I'm pointing fingers, but it's the younger generation. Yeah. They yeah. don't give a shit. Not at all. They just do not care. Like a uh, few local spots up near us, like say you put a, say a trail gets put in in a certain area, and it's already going to raise eyebrows. Like why is this getting put in? But then kids just dump shit everywhere, and yeah. I don't want to say kids. Whoever dumps shit anyway. It's, and I know a lot of people have the same thing, like... Just They're just not educated with it, with it, are yeah. they? I mean, um, everyone's got pockets in their pants, yeah, so just yeah. shove it back Well, they in. brought the fucking shit with them. Yeah, yeah. It's smaller without the in, insides of it. <laughs> I, I think mean. a lot of it's not even like... You might sit down for a snack and they'll leave it at the side and it'll just be like, right, we're going now, lads, and they'll just jump up. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's sort of like, they sort of switch off to what, what's the... Do you know what I mean? What's there? On, on the flip side to that, mm-hmm. I'll tell you something that annoys me. Is people taking a photo of some litter that they picked up and putting it on their social media? Yeah, like, like they've pick, done a big cause. You know, they, yeah, they call yeah. it virtue signaling, don't they? Yeah, like? yeah, yeah. And it's like, why do you have to take a photo of that? You've, you've done it, fucking good on you. 
but why do you have to tell everyone you've done it? Yeah. And that's because you're trying to sound like you're doing the right yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it. It's the trail equivalent of a gym selfie. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, like, me. To be I fair, I, I, I was guilty of that this week because I haven't been in the gym. I was like, oh, I'm back in the gym this week. Yeah. So I can't say now. But I, get, I do get that. And I get that I think um, if you're... If you put in, I don't know how to explain it. If you put in pictures of stuff on social media, it should be more like insinuating, like why is all this? Sh- like if you're gonna take a picture, take a picture of all the shit and going, why are you leaving this here? Rather than like dumping it, in the, do you know, like putting yeah. it in the bin or whatever. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I get, I get, I, I, I get it. It's just litter for me. Boils my piss because mm, yes. there's already enough tension in the mountain. And you're biking. the thing is where you live. You're near a city, so you get a lot more of it. Yeah. Whereas round here, where it's quite a um, conservative town, Shrewsbury, and you go to Eastridge, and you'll hardly see anything. Really? It's, yeah, I think they're. It's it's not as cityish, if you know yeah, what I mean. Not the people saying. are a bit more middle class, should we say? Yeah, so they're a bit more aware of. Yeah, a bit more conscious of it, I guess. Yeah, which is a good I've thing. I've never even thought of that. To yeah. Be um, so on your riding, um, obviously you do similar thing to me. You do the YouTube. Your our thing that we do now is uh, like the lads take the pisses of the jibby gym stuff. That is it's so all, funny. It's all, <laughs> oh man, I can't it's tell you. It's all the jibbing, how. but it's so they, that's they what refer- you've done for ages, yes, isn't it? Yes, we have, yeah. But I, what I found funny today is they don't even refer to him as Jim. He's, he's called Jib now. Yeah. So if they're saying like, come on, Jib. <laughs> yeah, what yeah, are you yeah, doing, Jib? All the Hurry time, up, Jib. <laughs> Fucking yeah. hilarious, that. But yeah, we've been, what you want to say, jibbing for years. That's, yeah. You know, like session in and all that shit. Yeah, it's like, for me, that's like the big part of it now. Rather than just doing a full run, and some people love to go, just go and do full runs, but for me, I like to uh, get I like full together. runs as well. Yeah, 100%. Because yeah, otherwise, yeah, yeah. if you, like, say, I mean, we're still racing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So if you yeah, go you to a race and all you've been doing fitness. is jibbing, you're fucking ruined by yeah, the time yeah. you get to the bottom of the track. I think you develop more skills jibbing. Yeah, definitely. You know, like hitting yeah. the same section of track three yeah. or four times. yeah. But yeah, that's like, I, I love I love jibbing, mm. if we're going to call it that. It's mint. So sponsorship-wise, mm-hmm. you, 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 you're kind of picking it up a bit. When yeah, when yeah. I first met you and we went to Dovey, you had quite a lot less subscribers than us. Yeah, quite a lot less. We were yeah. growing at quite a fast rate of knots then. Mm. Ours are slowed right down I'm sure now. you were up like 10,000. Yeah, yeah exactly. and you were on like 3,000. I think I was on three. But now... Well, it might have been on eight or something. You like reached 20,000 way before us. Yeah, it was. I think it was, it was COVID time, I think. And I think what helps with your thing is that you do the gnarlier stuff and you're very good at your titles. Yeah. And your, your All thumbnails. All the clickbaiting. Yeah, some people like. So just baiting. just explain to people what obviously people go. Oh, it's easy being a YouTuber. All you got to do is film yourself, film yourself riding, mm. put it up, done. Explain to them the whole process of what well it's, goes it's, into well, it. Well, it goes back from you've got to think of an idea first. You, you can't be riding the same shit every no, weekend think either. Think think you've got a two years worth of videos, you can't have one video that's the same within six months, really, can you? No, no. Because people are just got oh, it's just the fucking same shit. Yeah. So you've constantly got to... Like us at Dovey Bike Park, that's got a bit too much Dovey yeah, Bike but, Park. Yeah, but no, but it's, it's not really, because you've been doing different stuff there, yeah, and that's, that's, yeah. that's all right, isn't it? But, like, I think, uh, for me, my brain's always, like... Your brain's yeah. probably the same. Yeah, yeah. Sat well, in bed and I think for an idea, and I'm like, oh, fucking write it down. Mm. I, I've started writing stuff down now, because like even to that, people probably don't think you you have to go out your way to do. Yeah, that. I've got a vlog. I got a, a file on my phone. Well, a, a thing on the notes. Vlog ideas. Yeah, yeah. You got um, to. Yeah, totally. I think I've been lucky the last six months. These ideas have just come out of getting a group together and going riding some stuff. And obviously, if you're chopping a track in, which obviously I don't do. Wink, wink. Yeah. Um, you can take a few people down it, yeah. do you know what I mean? And get some... Because usually the stuff that's knocking around near us, it's all pretty mental. Um, but yeah, there's loads that goes into it, thinking of the idea, and then you've got to try and materialise it, trying to get people out hard enough. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Get a crew together. Usually like having a few people. Um, and then obviously getting back, getting your footage. But like I've said to you, I've got it a bit easier because all my stuff's Apple. Yeah, so I can, can just, just send it all yeah, together. So that's it takes me ten minutes to get it all nightmare. together. 
Um, so I'd advise that for anyone get the same, you know, set of mm. um, what would you call it? Like an operator system. Yeah, yeah. You need mm. the same operating system, but then you've got a so it doesn't end there. You've got to edit it then, which can take two to five hours yeah. depending on how big the video yeah. is. Then render it. Render it. Get it up to YouTube, which can be a nightmare. And then, and you've then got, you got to do the hardest YouTube bit. Stuff. The hardest bit then is the title and the thumbnail. Because if you yeah. fuck that up, yeah, I know it sounds like you're trying to grab views, which really you get to well, a point you are, where you that's are, your yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. You've got to get them things. And it in. becomes more than so. Like I was saying before, it's started because it's like a a fun thing to do. Now, once it gets past that, you can you almost see out the other side of it, like what it could be. Yeah. I, I see you as a bit similar to us in a way that I think you're still really enjoying it. And I oh, think 100%. you still love riding. Love it. Well, you've seen it today. And How I much think fun were we having? When you see people, let's say, for instance, the big, massive channels that might be a bit more like... Um, Pushed for getting it out because it's yeah, the job. and you look at it and you think, they're not enjoying themselves. Yeah, yeah, Especially, yeah. like I don't know, the likes of GMBN and that. But it's like... Like a chore. How many times can you do a video on how to wheelie, how yeah, to manual, yeah, how, to the, how to this, that and the other? Uh, I've come away from the how-tos. I know they're big. Um, I've never actually done one. I've done quite because a few how-tos. Because they can't actually teach that, people how to yeah. do anything. Well, it's searching <laughs> for numbers and you do get good numbers on it. But it's just bullshit, isn't it? It's yeah. just like, I don't care about that. I'm not having fun when I'm I think there's that. like a, a market out there for that, though, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. You know, the people that are... I, I get what you're saying. It's, it must be so hard for them as a cop because they're a corporation now, aren't they? Yeah. Trying to get videos out. Oh, yeah, and the money involved in that outfit is just... If they had a section called how to swear your head off in your shed when you lose a tool oh, or yeah, can't get yeah. something yeah. off you your know, bike... I'd like to be a fly on the wall. You'd be like... <laughs> I've watched him clean a bike tonight. That was impressive. <laughs> Fucking hell. Thought I cleaned a bike till I watched Jibby Jim do it. Jesus. <laughs> but the me. thing that disappears the most in the shed, I don't know why, is a fucking four mil Allen key. The amount of times I'm like... Well, four mil's all the stem. Where the fuck stem, is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah stem yeah. breaks, so I, it's the full car. Yeah. probably oh, top that. Blame for that. Yeah, Todd always gets blame, yeah. probably got yeah. ten in his bedroom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there come. There've been a couple of times when he's gone riding and he's taken my fucking <laughs> snap on Alan Key with him. Oh man! And I'm like, I'm where is that? I've been searching everywhere. Man. They're not that bad actually. I got a set, like a little set, like you'd have for mountain biking, and yeah. was, uh, I got them off a mate who sells them. It's like thirty quid. They're yeah. so much better than all the others. Is it like what? Is it like the material? It's the tolerance is and it? the material. So when you put an Allen key into a, an Allen key head, yeah. it goes in dead easy, innit? With them snap-ons, you have to wiggle it to get it yeah. in. The tolerance is much great, yeah. much closer. And they've got a complete lifetime guarantee. If you if you round them off, even the slightest, they will replace them. And I've never rounded any of them off. Yeah. They're amazing, aren't they, Rodney? Yeah. Do you know what? I've had a multi-tool from Halfords. I've had it for about five years, and it's fucking mint. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? You get some things. It's got a lifetime really warranty yeah. on it as well. It only cost me like a tenner. Fucking hell. Fucking mental. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, t I mean, talking about YouTube and the people who uh, are now vloggers who are now big YouTubers, are there, are there any that you look up to? Uh, oh, that's a good question, that. Uh, are there any that you watch? Yeah, I watch a few, obviously. I catch up on your videos. Who else do I watch? Is watch Lewis's. Lewis, yeah. Lewis for me, like, Lewis proper, yeah, proper rate the guy. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that because I'm obviously sat here talking with you. Okay, he can ride. Um, can yeah, fuck me, he can ride. He can ride and he knows how to work the system. And he's not, he's not like, I want to say he's not like all the other pro guys who you can't really approach. For me, I didn't really know him and I spoke mm. to him and like, do you want to sort a ride out? And we sorted a ride out within like yeah. a couple of weeks. Stayed at his house, didn't really yeah. know him. Got him having a few beers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. For me, that goes a long way. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you, Lewis. Who else do I watch? I watch. Do you know what I watch a lot of? I don't actually watch a lot of mountain biking. I watch a lot of surfing. Me. Oh, do you? Yeah, because like surfing was my pastime. Oh. I can't really do it as much now because we're so far away from. It's like two hours to get to mm. the sea, and it's one of them. Once you stop doing it, you lose all the muscle memory mm. and stuff. So, but yeah, I watch a shitload of surfing on YouTube. Like yeah. Ben Gravy, Coa Rothman, and have a watch of these guys, they're really good. Uh, who else do I watch? 
J-O-B, Jamie O'Brien, he's a big surfer dude. Um, That's a bit, one of the regrets I've got is I've never tried surfing. Honestly? Never in my Oh, life. you'll have to fucking do it. Or skiing or snowboarding. I've never really done skiing or snowboarding. Mm. Surfing, it's I've awesome. done windsurfing. Have I've you? done, um, I worked, when I was 17, I worked in Greece in Falaraki on the really? beach. Really? And I learned to sur- uh, to windsurf and to water ski. Wow. I got all right at it, you know, I could monitor yeah, yeah, ski, yeah. I could go on the fast windsurfing board. Wow. I used to be able to overtake the restricted jet skis. Like get Honest, past what, on, a, on a windsurf? On a windsurf, yeah, flat out. Arse banging on the fucking yeah. waves because you got it so low. It's terrifying, that. Isn't it? Oh yeah, I had some big crashes. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to wear a life jacket? Yeah, well, we were meant to. I never did. <laughs> <laughs> meant to wear helmets. This is like the... the uh, when would that be? Oh, God, late 80s, that'd be. Fucking okay, you know. hell. Yeah. What, even a wink in the eye then, me, lad? Fucking <laughs> 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 okay, hell. No. But yeah, funny. yeah. I, I, also, that's telling a lie for me. Who do I look up to? I watch a bit of... Um, when Sam Pilgrim's come up with a daft idea, I watch Yeah, that I watch the odd one of his. I can't watch them all because they're all a bit Some of them are hilarious, though. Yeah. Some of the ones where he rides a fucking seven-wheel bike. He's a mad man. What, I mean? oh, he's <laughs> what, you got, what you forget about him, because he's so prolific on YouTube, is just how fucking good he is at oh, riding. Mate. And a how lot of them, he is. A lot of these guys that are getting big in YouTube now, the skills that they've yeah. got on the bike... I think they've got to obviously have personality as well, mm. which a few of them do have. But That's what I like about Matt Jones and his brother John O. Jones. Both got they're, character. They're really nice yeah. lads. They're really sound. Yeah. Like always smiling, aren't they? Yeah. They're like proper and you smiling. You can tell lads. whatever they're doing on cameras. Whatever, what about the yeah. ones? Yeah. Real life, isn't it? What about the ones who are now vloggers who used to slag off the vloggers? Oh well, it's, you've just got to take it with a pinch of salt. Yeah. Think, Everybody wow. can change. Yeah, true. Yeah, Everybody that's can it. Change. I think once you, I think for it's, it's it's difficult to what what you say about it really. It's, I think for a lot of them going back to the responsibilities of the sponsorships they've got. I think it boils down to that for a mm. lot of them, and then they've all realised the potential and they're like, "Fuck me," and there's, there's some of them. Fuck me, some of them. In, in, in fact, another one that I watch is Brayton because he's full of personality. Yeah, I like our Brayton. He's, he's a, one of my favourite pro riders. With. Yeah, he fucking cracks me up. Him and Elliot are mm. funny as fuck. Yeah, I like the proper way Elliot calls him Granddad you know I mean? all the time. Yeah, proper Northerners. Yeah. Don't give a shit. And then your Do mate you for the um, and 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 yeah, Ale. And when they got Pagey with him, because Pagey's oh, sound, isn't he? Oh, just a cracking group of lads, aren't yeah. they? I, I think... It's a good outfit, that nuke proof. Do you not think that a lot of these mountain bike teams, whether it be Enduro or Downhill, they're not really teams? Nuke proof's a team, team though. Nuke proof is a team yeah. of mates, riders exactly. who do loads of shit together. There's none of them really like that, yeah. is there? No, there isn't, is How there? many could you actually name where you look at them I all? I can't think of any. What do you think makes it like that? Do you think it's having Pagey? I think because Pagey doesn't just Picks choose Picks people them. that he yeah. He doesn't just likes. choose them on like whether they're, I don't know, good social media, good racer. You know, like, right, would they fit in? Yeah. And yeah, can they fit into this outfit? Are we yeah, all matey anyway? Because yeah. I reckon they're all matey anyway, aren't they? Yeah, of course they are. The stuff they do, because uh, Anne, Elliot and Brayton and I don't know who else goes, they all go to that um, gym, Fit for Racing, don't That's they? That's it, yeah. And then they'll go riding afterwards. And I don't think, could you really do that with people you don't genuinely yeah. get on with? Yeah, you know, that's... like in a team, because Brayton's not really in the Enduro team like they are. No. Like, he does the downhill side of it, doesn't it? But they still, because they're all riding nuke proof bikes. Yeah. They're like a, so it's like a mad collective of people. And yeah. they do all these filming projects. Have you done any filming with Ad Brayton? I've never done, I, do you know what? I'd love to do, Ad, if you listen to this, see if we can get him to listen to it. I'd love to do something with him. I did, well, Todd and I did. We, we raced a, a little, I think it was a mini Enduro, a Welsh Gravity Enduro. Think. Oh, I watched it. You had him on. The, yeah, yeah. And we named it, Meg, it, didn't you? We called it, didn't we? Uh, ha- we teach Ad Brayton how to race yeah, in yeah, Jura. Sure and it, like that was the first time I really got to know him, and he was just so sound. Yeah, so nice. I've always known Meg for a long time. Two weeks ago, did a run with McDuffie. Oh yeah, he did, did you? Didn't you? And he was like Pin TV. Yeah, funny, aren't they? Yeah, they all know. They all know what's going on. Mm. 
But yeah, I've had I've had Ali Elliot on the the vlog once doing that crazy Nalanda. Yeah, he's unreal not, to follow he? in. Fuck His yeah, skill yeah. level is through the roof. A lot of them are. It's like that Leo. Mm. Todd's mate, bloody hell, blowing yeah. smoke up his ass yeah. again. <laughs> Unreal rider. So let's let's just take it back two years. We're both doing all right. Yeah. You know, the channels are doing well. We're picking up. I know what's all coming. All of a sudden, <laughs> fucking COVID. <laughs> How did you cope with that? What did you do? How did you feel? Uh, what it, sort of it, vlogs? It, yeah, it was, that's what I mean. It was tricky. Mm. I found myself like covering doing shit I don't really do. You're with do more than I mean? two people. Yeah, yeah. How like, many times did you get that yeah, on yeah, you? You know. Hell. Yeah, I did have it a few times. To be fair, I kind of protected myself from all that mm. because you, I'm one of these. Me, I'll I'll try and please everyone. Do you know what I mean? And even if I don't have the same beliefs as anyone else, especially on social media, I'll never. You was, Just as a rule yeah, of thumb, I'll never yeah. put anything on about That's all good, this stuff. Good idea, actually. A good yeah, I've never, it. I've never once mentioned my views on it all or anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, we did, we did a vlog uh, called "Idiot's Guide to a Safe COVID Ride." Was it? Was so? it? <laughs> yeah, and it was basically it was all tongue in cheek, so it was all around the garden. Oh yes, in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it was like, oh, we're getting into this gnarly section now, and we're going. Actual one, how to have a COVID safe ride, and you were like, don't touch the gates because you <laughs> Fuck get off. Stuck. Yeah, this is right in <laughs> oh the middle of when God. everyone was, was super paranoid about it. So I just, I went, got all the rules, and I went through all did the rules you? in the garden. I just thought no, it, you, we went to Holland and did it. No, not that oh, one. The one where we did in the garden. Yeah, no, but you did a proper one. But the one in the garden, some, you know how fucking tetchy people were at that time about yeah. like trying to sort of pull people out for doing the wrong things you know all the covid nazis and the, the one bloke gave me a load of fucking no. barrage of abuse i can't believe you've done this and i was like mate have you fucking watched it it was because yeah, you put yeah, the title yeah. as biggest gnarliest ride i've ever oh, done oh that was it yeah yeah did you? so i did it as pure clickbait to bring people in so that they could like have a go at me but obviously, then they watch it. See what it. people actually say. Then saying. they watch it and they're like, oh, he's around his garden. But this bloke hadn't watched it and he'd give me a barrage of abuse. And I was like, mate, I think you need to watch it. I think it video. triggers a lot of people, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. There's so many different. So, what were you doing? What sort of riding? Uh, so, what was just local what shit? Doing? Yeah, just stayed local. Yeah, we did. Me and Ben did one big ride from our house because they were saying all this stay local shit, weren't they? Yeah. But we did like a 40 mile ride, like right in the middle of it. We did loads of massive rides. And we, did, and we went down this, like, uh, it was like this road usually is busy as fuck. Like, I mean, busy. Yeah. And we were sat in the middle having butties, like yeah. in, in the middle of this road. And we seen one motorbike go past and we were like, how fucking. And I know it was a hard like time for a lot world, of people, like, it? how mad is this? But at the same time, it was fucking amazing because yeah, yeah. you never see anything yeah. like and that. And the weather you? was sweet, wasn't it? Oh, the it weather was, awesome. was, it was like, like, the, like a massive long heat. It was like a massive yeah. blessing away, yeah. blessing in a way, wasn't it? Because like everybody got to like just chill in the gardens mm. and yeah, like appreciate their family. And actually, I don't really know anyone who was ill at that time. No. Like I don't know anyone who was actually getting ill with it oh. at that time. So loads of people were at home. Mm. I think they were all appreciating family. And nobody, doing shit. nobody knew what was going on either. No, all I think it was all scare yeah, yeah. 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 Everyone was. I was. Do you know what? At the, at the very start of it, we were getting shopping and we were fucking spraying it with the I did it. I did it. I used to take the piss out of it. Yeah, what yeah. are you fucking doing? Yeah, but yeah, the, way going, yeah, yeah, the way yeah. it was going, yeah, the way it was going. And obviously mm. now... I'm the total opposite. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I not give a shit now. Yeah. Literally just... for, a, for a lot of people now, I, that's, it's one of them. I won't view my opinions too far but it's, it's we are where we are now mm. and everyone's got different opinions about it and, it's uh, nice to be able to just you, you kind of forget you how bad now. it was yeah, don't yeah, you yeah. and now like for we instance, sort of normal today, again there was now, six we? of us seven yeah. of us riding and we're just having a laugh and and even at one point if you're fucking fist bumping somebody it'd be like what are you doing yeah I just fucking shake hands yeah, with people you know what I mean <laughs> it's fucking mental wasn't it crazy it? isn't it so we got through it we did get through. We, got, it's we been did some mental, fucking weird it? videos to sort of compensate all this Me shit. Me and you both, happened. mate. Yeah, and it was we like... We did a video in the shed building up an Apollo like it was something. <laughs> oh, I've seen yeah, that. I did yeah. see that. 
<laughs> yeah, I thought that was clutching at really straws. Well, that one, actually, I think like, everyone was clutching at do you straws. Do, yeah. do you do some videos where you think this is the fucking one? Oh and yeah, this I've is gonna f- go really. And then it's like, oh, to be fair, I get like a little, I get a little feel in me, and it's usually proves out to be pre- like pretty bang on. Like when a video is fucking good, because mm. if I can watch a video. And I'm fucking myself. I've watched, say if I've watched it five times and I watch it for the sixth time, I'm still buzzing at it. I was yeah. like, people will love this because if you can watch your own stuff, knowing that other people are going to enjoy it, I think that's like the that's the thing. Like I think what we filmed today, I think when you yeah, watch I that, that'd be good. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, like fucking hell, a lot of foam it's footage. a different crowd. We're all doing. You probably wouldn't be doing the normal stuff. Same as me. We all kind of like got involved, and there's a few different follow cams, mm. and I think you. There's certain times you kind of get that vibe with it. Yeah. So, what's been your biggest bid? Um, that one at um, a spot over near us. I think the the title was "How did he not end up in hospital?" Yeah. I <laughs> and the one. bloke, the bloke, he's called uh, he's called Mark, and he's one of the like the old boys that lives up near us. He's like he's like a main group up near us, and they're like the founders of the mountain biking in the area. And I'm pretty pally with them all. And he's the sketchiest motherfucker ever. <laughs> like, everywhere you take him, he's just fucking... And I was like, right, I'm waiting for Mark to come round this corner. Mark's come round and he's it's like an it's like a, an over-under and he's just gone... Because uh-huh. like uh-huh. I've spotted it straight away. I was like, yep, yeah, thumbnail that. Yeah. And obviously, like, how did... Because he literally went over this, like... It was like a, a log into, like, a bomb hole. And he's just like gone into it, bounced on his seat and just hit the banking. Fucking hell. And you just think sometimes, like, fuck me. He's, like, 55 and he's doing that shit. Like, what yeah. the fuck? So you're with Trek via Leisure Lakes now. Yes. With and Leisure you've Lakes. you've got the Moxie as well. Yes, I have. Do you want and to talk about some of your sponsors and how that's yeah, all Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, got a good thing going with Leisure Lakes. Obviously supported by the Burry Shop, but I think it's, it's more of... Just the it's a big shop. outfit, though. Yeah, it's massive. Now, it's just it? been taken over by JD Sports, so I believe. Oh wow! Um, so yeah, I think that's a big thing for them. I don't know if that's common news. Because so I think we, might, was... have to, we the... might have to cut that bit out. The JD so, <laughs> fifty-two minutes. Yeah. I might have dropped a bollock right there. That's just the fan. Yeah, I'll I'll write that in. yeah, fifty-two minutes. So uh, I'll start from now. It so it was a family thing, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So. Um, yeah, it's a. It's made up of. I think it's three or four brothers. Hmm. Um, I've met the brother in the Burry shop don't remember his name that is shocking I think he's called Mark but yeah. they're all sound whoever I've met in the shop yeah. sound I deal with a lad called Danny in the Burry shop uh, via a lad called Greg which kind of um, saw my stuff out in the shop and it's just like a dead chilled out you promote us we sort your bike mm. you ride it um, and then obviously I've got the Moxie from Pipe Dream which is a Absolutely, I haven't. I've Which done you're everything. on today? Yeah, I've just done everything on that. In a hardtail day, yeah. I want to hit the road gap behind my house at some point, right. but I just Fair cannot play. bring myself to do it. So today, for those of you listening, just to explain, on our track we got a step down that I I won't dare do on a dry day on a full suspension. <laughs> and um, Todd, you haven't done it, have you, Todd? Uh, I think I pulled for it in the dry, but never got it. And then uh, I I know of like literally. I don't know, three or four people who've done it. And and you managed it on the Moxie in the wet Just today. Just about. You nearly, nearly, nearly hurt moved your hand on the yeah, fence yeah, afterwards yeah. when you carried so much You can't shut pace. anything down on a hardtail, no. can you? You'll know, they just bounce everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you watch the clip on Instagram, you'll see as I'm running in, the back end's just literally like that and it doesn't end like... Hardtails, they take a lot of skill to ride. I'm not yeah. saying I'm a skilled rider but they take you've got to just be able they to more skilled, yeah right? massively you've so. got to be completely precise with your steering yeah you? and or if you're, you're not you're, in you're fucking yeah big time yeah. it's like a, we removed that route didn't we on the thing because if that route was there on a hardtail you just yeah. I'd just wipe out what do you think of the local trails yeah that that track is it's good that, isn't it? that was the best one up yeah. there pinned it's awesome mm. good name yeah, for it as well we are it's called pinned down Pinned down, yeah, yeah it's a mega are, track. Yeah, that. We're quite proud of. And I watched the I watched the video at first, and it just doesn't do it any justice, no, does it? it no. Never does. No. And then when you get to it, you're like, "Fuck yeah, it's got a bit of gradient." This. That's. Do you get that a lot on, on your comments? Yeah. Where they'll be like, "Oh, I went and rode that thing that you did. I 
couldn't believe it was fucking like that. Yeah, they're like, holy shit. Because GoPros are terrible at showing gradient. Yeah, totally. because it's all, if you imagine where your GoPro is, it's either at your chest, so it's always, the angle it's always pointing at is flat. Yeah. It's always a yeah. flat angle, isn't it? So it'll never like pick up the gradient. when you're filming yourself trying to go up a steep Exactly. Bit, it looks like you're just going on you're the always, flat. You're always best. What I try and do, if, if I'm showing someone a track, I'll go below whatever you're, you know, and try and get as low yeah. as you can. You, can, you yeah. sort, you don't see it mm. still, but. So who other who else have you got sponsorship wise? You got this. You rock in this clothing. Yeah, helmets. so can't say anything about that yet, but it, okay. because it's not released. But I've got a clothing brand that I've just jumped on board with, which is they've never released anything in mountain biking before, so that's exciting. Um, who else have I got? Again, RRP. Got RRP. Yeah. yeah, Craig. Craig sorts me out with. Oh, that was thanks to you again. That yeah. Unite again. Yes. Thanks to you. Our fat Welsh friend. Yeah. Big up Andy. The painted um, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, who else? You've sorted me out with a few over the years, haven't you? I've you got, got a tyre sponsor? No. Again, through Leisure Lake. So any mm. tyres I need, I just get a, um, get sorted out off them, basically. So Yeah. And I go for Michelin's now, um, just because I find that, you know, when you get used to a set of tyres, yeah, yeah. you kind of stick to them, don't you? Yeah. Um, so I've got that. Uh, what else have we got? bit of CBD off Tonic CBD that's a place in Ebden Bridge yeah um, just a small business by a girl called Kate so she sorts me out with that yeah and then just my local bike shop and uh, my local guy who wraps the bikes called Snakeskin so what about your food oh yeah um, so jumped on board with a brand called Y Food who do like meal drinks and protein is and that stuff. Y as in the letter Y or yeah like Y what? Food to so the German yeah. and they've obviously they're a big European company, so mm. good good gear though. The, the gear recently, I say gear like it's crack or something. <laughs> the drinks recently, so they do like salted caramel and stuff now, and it's you'll have to try. I've got two with me. I'll have to yeah. try one tomorrow. Awesome. Um, we might be able to fuck some up there yes, as well. Yes, that could be. Like we've discussed. So yeah, yeah, they're a good one. So yeah, it's all everything's like falling into place, and it was never really about all that for me. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't really us. It was just about having. Do fun. you remember when we first met, and I was like, "Mate, you need to start working these brands." Yeah, and, and I was like, just on a ragged out. What was I on? I was on that intense one that I'd had yeah, repaired. That's right, yeah. Because yeah. I cracked it, had it repaired, and only up until I'd say only up until the last year, I've always pretty much flogged for my own gear and yeah. stuff. But it makes it a bit more worthwhile though don't you think because like you put so much into effort. it for so so little gain yeah. if you're just doing it for the videos yeah mm. it's like and i think I, I think people think you earn a shitload of money yeah. off youtube and you know as well as me you earn pretty much next to you couldn't live off it could no, you do you know what i mean no unless you're getting fucking 40 50k a week then it yeah. changes a bit doesn't it but we like the I've said to 50K you... 50k a year would do me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've said to you loads of times, haven't I, though, that, like, they're really lucky because if we had to try and fund Jim and Todd both riding yeah. bikes yeah, and we got doing like, shit together... Yeah, we got, like, worth of bikes in it's, it's, it's like, it couldn't happen. Mm. Like, it, it just couldn't happen. And I say to Todd all... And I th- do truly think Todd knows how lucky he is. I do think he knows how lucky he is. But I do think he's, you know... He's he's got it good, hasn't he? Mm. Yeah, so 100%. he's got it but good. The work you've put in for that, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's been a lot of hours. Yeah, of course it is. But enjoyable hours. I never think it's a chore. No, I have a couple of times over COVID. I thought it was a chore because mm. I'm not doing the stuff I want to do. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That was a fucking yeah. chore for me, though. That but must anyway. be how they feel like how they feel when they're having to put videos together they don't want to do. Yeah, oh, you know, like the like, I've like, never done obviously. Please. Yeah, I've never watched a video once and been like, I can't fucking upload that because yeah, if you get to that point, you're like, fucking hell, I shouldn't really mm. be doing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> just to explain what you do for a job. Yes. So this is mad. This no one will probably believe this. So um, it's I work full time in it. Full time, yeah. yeah. So I work for a semiconductor company. Um, won't go into who they are and whatever, but I work for. a quite a big semiconductor company that make uh, chips for all sorts of pretty much anything you can think of cars phones laptops everything um, as semiconductors as you'll all well you won't all know but semiconductors are in pretty much every household mm. thing nowadays that uses and this is what they're on about the big like short, shortage, shortage yeah. of with the um, it's the material cars and so material stuff, yeah. so 
uh, semiconductors are made out of silicon. So if you can't get your raw material of silicon, you can't make any chips, do you know what I mean? So the chips we make, they're all, it's basically silicon and it's built up of different layers. It's, it's so hard to explain. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sort of on the test side of it. So I test all these, you, we call them devices. Um, and yeah, it's good. Mm. Pays the bills. And, and how uh, do you juggle that on your YouTube channel? Uh, very, and the family, very difficult. Yeah. So you've got two kids. Yeah. Got a full time job. So how old now? <clears throat> Boy two and, and ten. What two and ten? Two. Well, she's nearly she's pretty much three. Yeah. So three and ten, pretty much. God, they argue, Jesus. Do yeah. they? Yeah, because the age gap's so big. Yeah. You want to see him? Yeah. She's like, go away, Georgie. She calls him. He's called George, but she calls him Georgie. And he'll be like, he'll be like poking her or whatever, because yeah. she's of the age now. She's just, she'll just grass on him like, mommy did this, baby. <laughs> she's talking now. It's dead funny now, and she's. Cute as anything, same as him. He's a cracking lad. Just started getting him. I just bought him his first proper mountain bike, yeah, so nice. buzzing with it. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's just difficult. It's hard, but because I love it, I'll always have time mm-hmm. for it. Do you know what I mean? I'll sit up. Sometimes I'll sit up on because I upload on a Monday. I'll sit up till two o'clock on a Sunday night if I haven't done a video, and I'll just be editing. Well, it's Monday morning then. And then mm-hmm. I've got to get up at seven half seven yeah. for work and I think they're the times that people don't actually realise yeah we spend a lot of time <clears throat> doing all that shit don't we it's hard work isn't it what about you <clears throat> do you put a lot of effort into like your Instagram um, uh, yeah I like, to, to be honest with you I like Instagram because it's an easy way to like promote you know like, yeah like put put content out there well I say content it's just yeah it's content isn't it um and it's a dead easy way to promote brands as well, mm. you know, just tag them. Yeah. Whereas YouTube, it's a bit difficult because you've got yeah, to create yeah. a full All video. Yeah, you can put is a link to their website. Yeah, whereas on a... And Instagram I don't think post. most people read descriptions unless no. there's like discount codes. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I think actually don't sense. think people, most people, <coughs> especially if you watch on telly because it doesn't even come up, does it? No, does it fall? None of the links come up on telly, you know, like if you say, oh, watch this video here. It's not yeah, even yeah. there on the telly, is it's, it? Instagram is like a quick flick through a magazine, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, you know, like years ago, like when my dad used to go to the toilet, he'd like tuck a magazine or a yeah, paper yeah. under his arm and he'd get up to, he'd go up to the toilet and he'd sit there and he'd have a flick, yeah. flick through the magazine. Whereas YouTube's more like YouTube's watching the telly. YouTube's more like watching the telly, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. it's like sort of your, your Instagram it's like your newspaper, what's attracting people to <clears throat> yeah. your to your channel, isn't it? Almost yeah. it's like they might see something they like and then it might lead them onto your channel. Mm. It's a good teaser Instagram as well. You know, yeah, if you want to, yeah. like today uploading that clip of me crashing against a fence, everyone will be like, fucking, I want to see that video. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Shit like that. So there's, there's definitely clever ways of doing it and you learn them down the road of doing all, you know, as well as yeah. me. It's all about clickbaiting the shit out of people. So, <clears throat> so, what is the uh, the track you ride, your sort of enduro bike? Which model is that? That's the top one, 9.9, that. Yeah. But without the electric gears. Yeah. It's all X01, so all carbon cranks, carbon wheels. Um, shit, I forgot to mention bloody wheels. <laughs> yeah, on mention, the sponsor. mention away. Yeah, so um, I'm on We Are One Wheels now, so they're like a Canadian owned, uh, they make carbon fibre wheels. They've just done a. A, have you seen the bike frame? No. Called oh, what's it called, Dan? Do you know what it's called? The uh, we are one. Is it called the arrival? Uh, Hold on, let me um. I have to clip this out. So we are one. I think it's called the arrival. Let's see what it's. So how much on. are the wheels? The, yeah, it's called the we are one arrival. Mm. That's it there. If you want to have a quick look. Oh right. Oh, that's pretty nice, smart. Isn't that isn't it. <clears throat> yeah. Get my specs on. Yeah, get them on, <laughs> lad. They do it all in different colours as well. So you like a raw carbon and like different faded oh, colours. It's smart, nice. like it's yeah, only 150 nice. mil, I think, travel. But do you need more than that in a mm. in an engine? Have you seen the uh, We Are One Arrival, the frame that they've made? <clears throat> You've not seen it. Nice, that isn't it. Yeah, smart, that isn't it. I like the colour fade. Yeah, they do it in black and white as well. So, yeah, they're uh, Canadian. I think the wheels with a set of Hope Hubs retail at about 1,500 quid. So, for yeah. carbon wheels, it's pretty cheap, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. With a lifetime warranty. Oh, wow. So, it's like we were saying before, if you're spending 300 quid every six months on buying new rims, you might as well just fork out and buy Yeah. 50. It's easy for me to say, but you just fork out and buy a mm. set of carbon wheels. <clears throat> so, where do you see... 
your channel going in the future? Uh, do you look at it like that, or do you just see it as I'm having fun? I'll just carry on doing it. Yeah, play it by ear. Kind of what I'm. Yeah, you've got to, haven't you? I, I'm gonna foresee your channel in the future because you've got a young lad riding bike. I'm gonna foresee it morphing into you and your lad riding. Oh yeah, it will do definitely. And then maybe like how I see it now is pinned for me as Todd's future. Yeah, yeah. That's it's his channel. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. I thought about split. I did think about splitting it, giving him his own channel, and trying yeah. to push that myself and keeping all that other stuff separate. But I suppose it's always going to morph into one anyway. Yeah, and <laughs> our, we th- we talked about that. Grab a beer. He's saying, "Go, Please. boy, what? boy, go." I was trying to whisper, saying, "Grab me a beer." She just said, "Get me a fucking beer." Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, let's pause it. We'll have a piss. Yeah, I need a piss as well, lad. Jim's right. got his bladder back now. Oh, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wee Wee has been partaken in. I need another drink, actually. I've nearly drank a bottle of wine. Oh, I'll get a... Back on. Got a drink. Back on. And fresh, we're on. Fresh can. Uh, so, we said about, like, you know, maybe it'll morph into you and your lad. Yep. Um... We haven't discussed injuries. How have you yeah, been on the injury hell. front? In I've had a few, to be fair. But you've had a fucking handful, haven't you? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Literally a handful. Walking, walking into <laughs> my hands. Honestly, I've got to say this, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, I don't do the gravel biking anymore because I don't really see the point now I've got hardtail because hardtails are better. Yeah, and you can do and more shit. You can do stuff on them yeah. and not be terrified. <laughs> So on the gravel bike last summer, I fell off and I um, did my metacarpal on my left thumb, Fucking which still gives me pain. Then uh, I was climbing, uh, when, you know, like the climbing bouldering type thing. Oh, what, indoors? Yeah, about uh, four months ago. And I, I, my left index finger, I was climbing up and it just went pop. Fucking hurt. It wasn't very nice. Did it? What, dislocated? I don't know what happened. But I can still feel it when I close it together. It still f- doesn't feel right. And the weirdest shit was, a week later, I was at work. And sometimes I'll pick up, like, these plastic bags of cement. I'll stick me index fingers in, like, the creases. Yeah. And I'll lift them up with two fingers. I've always done do it. Do you do that thing where you slit them in half and then... Like, split them into two halves? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that like so a builder's trade thing, that? I think so, yeah. So I picked it up, and then um, as I did it, my right finger did exactly the same thing as my left oh, finger, shit. and that still gives me shit. And then I broke my my hand Yeah. Uh, three weeks ago. So oh, yeah, when you, you say I've had a handful, I literally, literally my have hands are fucked at the moment. So when I ride, they're pretty sure. Your, your hands are like the key things, aren't they? Yeah, it's the worst thing to hurt. Like and well, then, like, what about the time I complimented you on having working hands? <laughs> what happened to your finger the next day? Can't remember. I had, I was looking at Jim's hands, and I never pay Jim compliments. And I was like looking at his hands, and I went, "You've got proper working hands, you have. You can tell you work with these hands." And the next day, he went and crushed his finger in the in the shredder. Oh yeah, in the, yeah, they, in the yeah. chipper at work. Yeah, not actually in the blades, but in like a little catch bit on the side. What you spelling um, you like? Yeah, that's okay. really noisy. <laughs> I said to him to put it in a bowl. Go and put them in a bowl because all we can do is crinkling of paper. Um, so yeah, that, I mean that, and also. Have you ever done your shoulders? Uh, I've done sublocation. I've never done a dislocation like Todd with on that ride with you. I know that wasn't dislocation. That was um, collarbone. So what have you done? What what have you had? The worst. I don't know what the worst pain for you was, but I've done my shoulders like five times. I've done them 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 both at the same time once. So double dislocation. (laughs) So it's a bell to this. So when I first started riding, we were riding a local track that was like steep as fuck, following one of the fast boys straight over the bars. And I didn't. I don't think I did enough muscle around my shoulders at that time because I was quite young. And put both my hands out, mm. and they both popped out mm. of place. 
and like I've just fucking grazed all my face on the floor because my hands have gone. Yeah. Turn round, looked up at my mate. He's like coming towards me, and I was like, "You need to help me!" And he's just started pissing himself. Because my arms are like <laughs> flailing by my size, like <coughs> pretty much like that. I was like, you need to help me. And obviously I couldn't move them. So like as I've moved, one of them's popped back in. So oh. it, must have, it must have just been like a little bit out. And then I've had to push the other one back in. And that went in fairly all right. But that's when the problem started happening. Because once you've dislocated them once, mm. it just can, it happens all the time pretty much. And it happened two or three times. But the worst one I had was... Riding a local track called NASA, which is pretty gnarly. It's got like a few uh, like rock features and stuff. And uh, I was follow- following a lad called. Do you know a lad called George Gannicor? He's like a no. pro rider. So he's like he, he used to race World Cups and stuff. Mm. I think he's he's going to be racing this year. And I was following him down the NASA, and um, I've just clipped. I've like clipped my inside pedal on uh, my outside pedal anyway, which whichever way I was facing, straight over the bars. Put my arm out, but it was my bad arm, my right, my right arm. So that's it's f- like com- fully dislocated. Where so your ball and sockets, like obviously, it's all like a, a like a one cover piece, and mm. it's all should all be together. It had come down to here, oh. so the actual ball of my arm, my arm had extended by about three. Well, no, probably it was probably like five inches. Oh. It was right down here, but because because all the tendons are like all stretched and stuff in order to get your arm back in you have to pull it down and push oh. it back up but you can't do that yourself because if because at, at the time I had I actually built a bit of muscle over it so it becomes harder to get it in yeah the stronger you are the worse it is so but at, at the same time this happening because my arm went I had a full face on and I hit my face on a rock and broke my nose. So oh, can you see can yeah. you see that yeah. lump on my nose? Yeah. So I broke my nose and I dislocated my arm. And I was like, I don't want to go to hospital. He's like, you're going to have to go to hospital. I was like, ring Nick. So Nick's a local physio that we're all pally with. He rides mountain bikes. So I've rocked up at his house with a broken nose and a dislocated shoulder. He was like, right, follow me. I just marched in his house. He sat me down on a chair and he's like, living room. And he was like, right, what do you want first? Nose or arm? And I was like, what's worse? So he just grabbed hold of my arm. He was like, right. So he like put his, he like made a sort of a V with his thumb and his index yeah. finger, put it under my arm like that to sort of like, sort of like push it all out, pulled my arm down, pushed it back up and it just went like oh. straight back in. But the relief, like I was pretty much crying because the pain was like excruciating. And he was like, right, your nose now. So he's just grabbed, he's just grabbed my nose in fact, he did it with both of his thumbs like that, and he was just he just like cracked that back into place. But then he, because he said right, it's not quite straight, so he had to keep pushing on it, oh. and he was just pushing on like my broken nose. Long story short, went to the hospital to see a nose doctor because I thought it was fucked. And the doctor was like, "Whoever's done that," he said, "You need to tell him he's done a brilliant job. Oh, you're really? not gonna have a, you, he said, "You're not going to have to have anything done to it because he's put it straight." He said, "You might have a bit of scar tissue, which is what that is." But he was like, yeah, but that was the worst. What about concussions? Have you had many oh, concussions? Oh, yeah. Do you see that crash I had in Fort William? Yes, yeah, yeah. So that was yeah. like, that was probably, yeah, that was probably worse than the mm. dislocation because that's obviously your mental health. I was I was fucked for a couple of months from that. Really? Big time, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't emphasise how... I've, I've been all right with concussions. I've I couldn't emphasise how bad mm. bad concussion is. It's so bad. Like You have to, you have to be careful because you get cumulative concussion as well, don't you? So even like one if after you, another. Yeah, if you have like one after another. They it's say like, it can be like a couple of months yeah, till you recover. Yeah, it's horrendous. Mm. To- it was horrible when Todd pulled his teeth out and... Oh yeah, because oh, he had a couple God. of big ones, didn't he? It was at, like he just kept repeating himself, and that's the scariest bit is when like they can't remember something they said like five minutes ago, if yeah. that, and it's just like it's a part of the sport. That's the shit thing yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, I worry about the the mental health. I worry about it anyway because as you get older, it's something that you know catches up with you. Yeah, I mean, when I was Cassie, will tell you up till. Five years ago, I was like the strongest person mentally. I literally, nothing bothered me. Really? Nothing would upset me. And you know, how many times have you seen me cry? Once, probably. Yeah, once when one, like of our, one of our dogs years. died. Not even when yeah, his mum died, just don't did get he upset cry. He just doesn't that, really like, get that nothing upset. Nothing bothers me. Mad but in like the last sort of five years, it's sort of crept in a bit. And I've, you know, my head's not quite, sometimes my head's not quite right. Covid was probably the worst. Yeah. 
with all the mad shit and everyone's strong opinions and it, and like where are we going with this what's fucking happening and my head started going but I've I've sussed it now and I'm all right but yeah. it's um it's, it's yeah. difficult mental health isn't it yeah it is but it's not spoken about enough no even now even then telling you about it part of me is like what are you doing telling people this you yeah but everyone I mean? has everyone has dark times I had a yeah. horrendously dark time as a teenager it was fucking mm. awful yeah you shouldn't have bad times like that as a kid no. should you really no, no, all that no. shit going on. Touch wood. I've with all the concussions and stuff. I'm all right, but fuck me to wake up call when you yeah. when you have a crash that big, like that crash at Fort William, pff, yeah. knocked me for six. And oh, I thought yeah. I was all right. Got home, took a week off work, and I was not all right. Mm. Depressed. Yeah. Couldn't eat. Ben come round to my house and he was like, um, he come out the front of my house. Couldn't even look at him. So like, say he stood there, I was like that. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, what the fuck is up with you? And I was just like, I don't know, mate. And I just couldn't, like, I just couldn't physically look yeah. at him. It was like I was pissed off with him, but why was I pissed off with him? Mm. Do you know what I mean? He's my mate trying to see if I'm all right. And it's weird, your brain, though. You yeah. can't control it, yeah. can you? No. No, and it's uh, it's quite a sad thing, I think. When Even to a point, when I was younger, and if anyone ever talked to me about depression I was like oh fucking weak yeah yeah that's what I used to think yeah yeah like depression. When I was young, get on with it weak minded what's yeah. wrong with them pussies whereas now I'm like fucking poor bastard I mean, look at Tyson Fury yeah he's yeah. the fucking hardest cunt in he the he is yeah. in probably the, you know one I mean? of the best sort of role advocates, models advocates yeah, yeah advocate role yeah. model for mental health I mean that he's such a hero that bloke. heavyweight champion of the world yeah. and he's openly saying to people I was he's got three four kids at home and he was going to plough himself into a fucking bridge yeah like, come yeah. on mm. fuck me it can happen to anyone innit? it and there's loads of people out there that go shut up you pussy yeah. yeah they're probably the people that are struggling more than anyone else do you know what I mean and mm. they won't won't admit to it so I think we've wrapped it up yeah we've I'd smashed we've, down we've been talking for a while now obviously if you want to know anything about Tommy I will put all links in I'm so new to this on Spotify, I don't even know what I say. Feels but, weird not I, talking on camera. Yeah, doesn't it? do I put it in the description? Like I think so. Subscribe. <laughs> uh, like yeah, subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, keep I, it. Thin. I don't even know. Do we, do we say subscribe for? Yeah, uh, I think you can subscribe. Do yeah, you it's follow, all part do you of your email. Uh, yeah, I think it's a follow, and then they they'll get email notifications of any new episodes. Sweet. Ass. So really happy and really grateful. For Tommy to come and be our and first I'm, guest. Yeah, that's pretty mad of you to ask me to be the first guest. And we'll there? do it again. Yeah, I Why feel not? pretty no rules, privileged to be fair, mate. Uh, so big up to the yeah. boys. Thanks, wifey Cassie. Yeah, thanks, Cassie. Thank you. Thanks, thanks Tom. Just for being Tommy. So until next time, what we say on the videos: keep it pinned. Keep it pinned, boys.